Good evening, you're watching Primetime. I'm Natasha Jog. I'm Amit Abrevi. The big story, of course, Indo Pak foreign ministerial level talks, and Mahmoud Jandani spoke to the new Pakistan foreign minister. Hina Rabani Khar, Pakistan's new foreign minister, thank you so much for giving NDTV some of your time this evening. I want to start by asking you, the visit has received a lot of uh, media coverage, but a lot of it has been about you, uh, your youth, your personality, your profile, uh, much more than perhaps the substantive hmm. issues that were discussed this morning. W what do you make of that kind of coverage? How do you react to it? You know, I think, uh, first of all, it's almost natural for any new uh, foreign minister to get some uh, attention between India and Pakistan, for sure, if not anywhere else. But uh, these are important, this is a very important relationship. And I think a lot of that interest is because of the country that I'm representing, rather than just my person also. And uh, I, I guess we just take it very positively. What can I say? You're Pakistan's youngest foreign minister. Mm. Uh, you are a woman in a very mm. tough environment. Mm. Uh, this is a tough job. So again, I mean, like I said, uh, you know, that's, that's been a lot of the mm. focus. You, mm. When you arrived, you mm. said that we're breaking from, or we'd like to break mm. from history, mm. not uh, be burdened mm. by it. Mm. Do you see yourself as a break from mm. history? I see also the, you know, uh, interestingly, in our interaction with Foreign Minister Krishna, we were, he, he talked about, you know, a new phase and a new beginning also. And I said that more importantly, and I mean it when I say it, there is a new beginning in the environment that exists, at least in Pakistan. And I'm encouraged by the fact that I feel at least the first vibes of a similar environment to be existing in India also. And what I mean by that is that, you know, for instance, all the, through the main political main, you know, parties in Pakistan, through the people of Pakistan, across the board almost, there is a convergence of uh, views that this is a relationship which is important for us to normalize, to build on, to be uh, living in peaceful coexistence, to be comfortable with each other's reality and to learn to live with it and then move on from there. So to me, this is um, in many ways an extremely important opportunity that exists at this particular point in time. And that is, of course, an encouraging sign. You talk about a new chapter, a new beginning. Mm. You made those statements mm. at Hyderabad House mm. as well earlier in the day. Um, yet we also saw uh, a little bit of controversy mm. uh, that arose out of your meeting with Hurriyat mm. leaders in Delhi uh, mm. last evening. Uh, the, it was raised in some form, I mm. think, at, at this morning's talks as well. Um, so on the one hand, there's a new chapter. On the other hand, it's similar engagement that one has seen uh, mm. in, the, in the course of the mm. last decade plus at least. What do you say to the fact that it was raised at this morning's meeting? Okay, first of all, I don't think this was anything new. Uh, as much as I know, every foreign minister who's been visiting, uh, every foreign minister of Pakistan who's been with, visiting India uh, has been engaging with them, right? Now, secondly, I think uh, this just, uh, you know, you said that there uh, has been a lot of news about that. To me, that also, again, once again, shows that understanding of positions is an extremely important prerequisite. Because how can we hold each other or, you know, uh, why would we not be able to be, you know, develop comfort with this? And aren't these principles that the democratic India, that India is the democratic values that it espouses, isn't it part of those values that anybody who's an important stakeholder within that domain, uh, for us to interact with them, I don't see how that should be offensive. These are all stated positions between India and Pakistan, and these are all prickly stated positions. Our point is that as you engage further, and as you engage more deeply, you are able to reach a point where these prickly points or situations or problems or issues that exist between the two countries can find resolution, a peaceful resolution. Were you surprised it was raised at the meeting this morning? It was raised at a, in, you know, in a way which, uh, was, uh, which I'm comfortable with. And I think it is a good thing. Uh, you know, I, I said uh, to your foreign minister that it is important for us to learn to raise things within closed doors. I think that is, uh, to me, a CBM of sorts, that uh, whatever we feel uh, in the relationship management from the other side, if you're able to show our concern uh, to each other, that that is signs of a maturing of relationship. Mm -hmm. And I truly uh, consider that to be an important element of the trust that we need to build with each other. And in the same way, uh, we would want to be develop a relationship where we're able to sort of speak to each other rather frankly on what we think the other is doing, what 
uh, doesn't help, what helps. Right. But I, I just want to say that on this issue and on many other issues, on the issue of Kashmir, on many, many other issues, we have very different positions, right? I think we should make peace with those differ, uh, different positions for the time being and then move ahead as we are able to build more confidence in this relationship. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.